when I was in college, I had friends who were going to be doctors and lawyers and important things, and, <laughs> and I was a musician. I was singing with Lyric Opera Express and Molly Jessup was our accompanist and she couldn't play one of the shows first thing in the morning and um, Kent was there. There was this young man playing the piano and he played, I'm afraid to say, the snot out of it. <laughs> but in the course of the morning um, found out that he had had a flat tire and needed a ride back to his car and I said Sure, I'll give you a ride back to your car. And we realized that we had probably known each other all of our lives. We've been family ever since then. My first show with Kent was in the spring of 1997. And I auditioned for him and he hired me for Broadway Through the Decades, the 90s. We rehearsed in his house. And my first impression of him was what an amazing musician he was. I first met Kent when he would be a guest on my radio show when he was doing uh, programs at the Old Simpson House. As a very gifted arranger and entertainer, as he started the Quality of Hill Playhouse, I find that what he has done for the Kansas City Theater community and for the cultural fabric of our city is not only helped to revitalize downtown, but he keeps a certain segment of that American songbook alive. So the first thing that I did with him, I believe, the first event was at the Donley Walla House. And we were doing Irving Berlin songs. And it was just fun. He was this little guy and fun and uh, knowledgeable. I know Kent uh, for, uh, for from the very start of Quality Hill Playhouse. And Well, the experience with working with Kent, at, at, at any point in anything that you do with him, you understand there's just this incredible expertise that he has a, a, a real uh, uh, ability to demand and get the best. Performing at Quality Hill is different than performing anywhere else. I love performing with him. I love singing with him. I love talking with him. He and I pretty much hit it off musically right away. I fell in love with him immediately. I liked him instantly. We got along famously. Um, the first time we worked together we didn't get along. I was a stupid 20 year old with my foot in my mouth and he saw a lot of potential and talent and I wasn't focused and it's always a challenge because he pushes you to sing music and harmonies and styles that you would never sing and as a result you have learned all of these techniques and styles. I have learned so much from him over the years. He has made me a, a, a musical snob. Um, and I say that proudly. I don't know what kind of vocalist I'd be if I hadn't worked with Kent. He's had a huge influence on my performing. Anything else musically that I'm doing, he is the benchmark for me. He has pushed me to do things that I would never, ever think I was capable of doing. More importantly, he has seen things in myself and I think in other performers, uh, things that have made us stretch and grow. He's fostering and, and cultivating the talent of the people in Kansas City. Sure, he knows about the American Songbook, he knows about all these composers, but he's got such a solid foundation and vocal technique um, that you know patrons don't get to see. Um, they do get to see that in the manifestation of the performers. And that's probably something that, 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 that isn't all that well known, but I would say it is 100% true. I think with the Playhouse, he had an idea of a song cycle evening of singers and him at the piano, and he wanted it, and he did it. Well, I 
always think of Kent as our own Michael Feinstein of Kansas City. Uh, he has exposed the American Songbook to our community in a way that nobody else has done it. Everything about his presentation is something that I wanted to be a part of. And it was just one random day and Kent called me. It was uh, the summer of 2007. He called me and asked me if I was interested and available to play Blues in the Night. My mama done told me when I was in knee pants. My mama done told me, son, yes, woman. And of course, absolutely, I jumped on it immediately. That first experience is something that I'll never forget. I was in awe of his playing because of the command that he has over his instrument. The musicians actually help tell the story on the stage, and we can convey how we feel about the music and what we're feeling to the audience members, and the audience members definitely see that. It's wonderful to have a contemporary that you pick up with as if time has just stopped and there's always the same connection of delight and pleasure and trust. But the one thing that I will always come away with from Kent is that I had to learn how to tie a bow tie. You know, you have to tie a bow tie to work at Quality Hill and it's part of the standard of it. It's the decorum, it's great. There was actually a rehearsal call for me to learn how to tie a bow tie. We were looking into a mirror and uh, Kent stood behind me and tied the tie uh, for me over my shoulder, so that was, uh, that was weird. Uh, I can tie a bow tie now in 24 seconds, I think, without a mirror. Thank you for that. I'm amazed at how much I have learned in the past 10 years, both about the American Songbook and about running a theater company. It's very rare that someone with so much artistic talent also has such a keen sense about business and that is a, a rare combination found in Kent Barnhart. He runs a really tight ship, knows what he wants out of his theater company, and knows how to get it. Well, he has brought incredibly qualitative music to Kansas City. I feel like the people who come to Quality Hill Playhouse, they're not looking for something that they can go and necessarily get anywhere else in town. It's live music that you can't hear anywhere else in a fashion that you won't see anywhere else. It's such a one-of-a-kind experience that even when I do tell my friends that I am playing at Quality Hill Playhouse, I just say you just got to come and see it. And I feel as if we've grown up together in a way. Uh, grown up together in music and the way we perform and the way we develop. Because I think though Kent pre presents himself with his tuxedo and his wonderful manners and his love of everything elegant, I think there's really just a hometown boy at the root of who he is. And I think that's what people find charming about him. When I was in college, I had friends who were going to be doctors and lawyers and important things. And I was a musician, and I thought that was not very worthy compared to what um, they were doing. And over years, I have learned from so many people who have told me how touched they are by music that it is important. We live in a really special city. You guys are really special.